Hey guys. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> that was one intro. Hey guys, this five gamers back with episode three, and today I'm gonna be playing this again. Actually, I haven't played this one. Ah, why am I torturing myself like this? Warming up. Oh dear. So this makes me switch back like the mouse trap thing. Gonna be very, very mad. Classic. This one. Easy. Ha ha ha, main event. What, what did I do? Oh! I have to hit these things? Really? That... <laughs> okay! I missed! Now go away! Please? Just great. No. No. I'm not revealing that one. That one's stupid. What's this? Candyland. Oh, this one was fun. Really though, it's kind of impossible to lose. So I'm not <laughs> I'm not really going to do much much with this one. All it pretty much is is this, but it's kind of like the normal one where you, you know, move the candies, but something's weird about it. Is that you could do this? Like, literally, you could move both sides, and there's an infinite amount of moves, so you could just, like, literally set up something. Watch. You see that? I could just use those three, but no. Why not just do this? Why not move him here, then drop him down, then move this guy here, and then get a four? But you can't lose is the thing. No matter how much I even try to lose, and just go like this, try and run out of turns. Even that gets me points. There's no possible way to lose. Pretty much it's just one of those games that's meant to make you feel like you're good at games, even though how easy they are. I could name multiple games, but I don't want to. So, next one. Tiki's Barrel of Monkeys. Um, this one was not my favorite. Monkeying around. Heh 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 heh. Bad puns. And let me just back that up. You have to actually pick your two guys. So I, I chose the monkey. Because it's a monkey. I like monkeys. And the dinosaur because... Dinosaur. Why not? Pretty much you have to bounce the monkeys onto this because it's barrel of monkeys thing. For a while I thought no matter what it went on as long as you hit it. But then I figured out you can actually miss. Hence what I just did right there. So if you hit it too far to the left of the drum, it goes more to the left, which is not doing. Whoop! This is gonna get me killed. What is the point of that? That's not a power up. That's a death er up. Shut up! No! I do not want this power up. Well, I guess it, you can't really lose in this game either. <laughs> What's with not losing in these games? But, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it would be a good power-up. Especially in the one where you actually aren't supposed to miss. There is one where you aren't supposed to miss when I haven't actually really played it much. I played like two seconds of it. Because mainly I lost pretty fast too. But what if this thing is in that? Would you really want that? I wouldn't. I'd be like, what? Okay, I'm done. Enough of that one. Now, actually, we're going to go on to, I think, is probably my favorite one. Not because of really anything except for the fact that it's fun. Oh, it's also the last one, too. Thank you. Alright, so... We're going on to Twister Dance Rave. 
which is probably the most challenging but funnest one. Even on easy mode, it's challenging. So pretty much what you have to do is you have to hit the circles when they appear, but you have to get them right when the line meets the bottom part. And your person does really cool moves in the background. Just so you know, I do not choose the person. So I'm kind of just stuck with whoever that is. I'm not really sure. Why is the person dancing? I mean, w why are they in apparently what looks like a giant disco ball? Why am I pressing these to make that person dance? What is this? Um, backflip. <laughs> 